hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? Big P here. We're, uh, now that that's sorted, I'm uh, just off to uh, see a man about a dog. <laughs> right, what's been happening in boxing last few days? Well, a few people complaining saying, Porky, you're not doing enough car videos. Well, what can you do when you can't go out anywhere? But today I thought I'd put me, uh, my dodgy outfit on and uh, I'd go out and get some uh, coffee. We'll see my pal, but we'll chat about what's going on. So straight away then, balls deep. Chris Eubank Jr. has gone to Calla Sauerland. What do we think to that? Hey, Chris Eubank Jr. going to Calla Sauerland. I think it's a good move for him, for the simple reason that I don't think he's going to go to Hearn. There's, I think he's got too much pride about him to go to Eddie Hearn. That's what I think anyway. So, but he's been round houses, hasn't he? Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren, Mick Hennessy, Al Heyman, and now he's arrived at Calla Sauerland, aka the man, aka my hero. There's nobody does it like Calla, not even Scarface. But where who he fights, I don't know. I'd like to see Calla Sauerland work with Joe Gallagher. I'd like to see him. Who's this here in a white van? Uh, okay, ten minutes more. I'd like to see him put Eubank in with Beefy Smith. I keep going on about the Beefy Smith fight, but you've got there'd be two world champions there going at it, wouldn't there? Or IBO double IBO world champion and former WBO world champion. I'd like to see that fight. I'd like to see. I'd like to see Charlo fight. I mean, Calla might work better with them Americans than Eddie Hearn because from, from what I'm seeing at the moment, they, they seem to be freezing Eddie Hearn out, the Americans. Probably because he's a bit brash. But uh, look at this helmet here. You dickhead, you're in the wrong lane! But, uh, but yeah, I'd like to see. Uh, I'd like to see that happen. I'd like. I, I think that Eddie's burnt a few bridges over there, and they're freezing him out. So I think if Sky want to get Eubank on a pay per view, they're gonna have to put him with another promoter. Maybe Eddie's behind it. Him going to Calla. Maybe Eddie's getting a slice of the cake. I mean, he got a little slice of the cake with WBSS tournament, didn't he? Because he's greedy. He makes it about him. Isn't that right, Eddie? Isn't that right, Anthony Lever, Frank, Frank Smith? You know what I mean? So, look at this here. I always get one, don't I? What are you doing? What are you doing, love? What are you doing? Can't go any slower than that, can they? What is that about there? Eh? Hey? There's always a Suzuki Swift in there, or a Volvo. Big Volvo with a caravan in there. Some old boy about 90, he's had it from new for 5,000 mile on clock. Or oh, there's a Suzuki Swift in there. Do you know what I mean? Unbelievable. But don't worry, they couldn't handle the pokey smoke. But uh, no, I, I just I'm just worried at the moment. I'm worried for fighters that are not getting out. I mean, Liam Cameron's doing a band, but nobody's fighting anyway. He must be buzzing, Liam, training like a Trojan. So, so that, that, I don't know what to make of it all. Does Chris Eubank beat Beefy Smith? People keep saying, Bucky beats him. Well, 
Does Liam Williams beat Eubank? Tyon Bove had Eubank on right, didn't he? But he never had engine to finish him off because he took the fight at short term notice. So, I don't know, mate. But Tyon Bove, whose dad weren't a world champion, were he? So he's not going to get the PR. But Eubank is, isn't he? But I just think that Eubank is beatable. But I think he's a great fighter. I think he, he, he might have improved under Roy Jones, but I want to see him tested now. I want to see him in a big domestic. I want to see him fight Billy Joe Saunders, John Ryder, Beefy Smith. There's fights there to be made. Do you know what I mean? There's fights there to be made. I don't know whether to go for it. Should we go for it? <laughs> Famous last words, weren't they? Should we go for it? Like when I had an XR3 and I managed to clip her curb and knock leg back about two foot. It was that bad, my brother couldn't get, couldn't get leg, no leg on it. <laughs> Ripped all bulkhead out. I just kept going across this grass verge on three wheels. <laughs> hey, I think that's a bit of maturity from me there, so I'm not blasting by them, because normally I would have smoked them. I was ready! I was ready! I would have smoked them! I mean, it's only a Fiat 500. But, uh but now uh, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. But Eubank to Carlos Sauerland, is Eddie Hearn behind it? I don't know, am I a conspiracy theorist? Yes, I am, but when Carlos Sauerland did the WBSS tournament, he let Eddie Hearn dictate about everything and get a slice of cake, didn't he? Didn't you, Carla, you little bitch? So, Carla would do anything to piggyback into the limelight, so, Ask guys sharing dates out. Is Callum going to get dates? But is Eddie getting a slice of cake off his days? I don't know, but it's all exciting. Moving on. Here's a corker for you. Here's a curveball, and nobody said a word to me, apart from two people. But I don't know. I don't know if they're just pissing in wind. But listen to this one. Nobody with a board license has said out to me, but I'm just going to put it out there. Is Amir Khan and Kel Brook going to fight? On Big Dosafemi and Fury's undercard as chief support. I don't know. But I tell you what, when I was dealing with my shake this morning for a big straw, I kept thinking to myself, is that gonna happen? Could it happen? Would they even dare to let that happen? I don't know, but I've heard Kel Mucks, Kel Brooks, uh, Kel, Kel Muck, I've heard Kel Brooks willing to take short end at bag. So we don't know. Right then, moving on. Moving on to, look at that for a scarf, <laughs> that was a scarf. Moving on to the Frank Warren, Rob Tebbit uh, situation. Saw this on a forum, don't know if it's true, but I've heard that Thomas Hauser went to Frank Warren with that drug test when it were Rivers and Gillian White when they were a drug test issue and that's how Tebbit got the interview. This is what people are saying. Don't know if it's true, we're not accusing Frank Warren of being uh, shady or trying to stick boot in on Eddie Hearn. I mean, why would Frank want to do that? He's a legendary Hall of, Hall of Fame promoter. If I can help Frank stick it to Eddie and bring him down a peg or two, I'd be very grateful, but would Frank try and torpedo Dylan White's career doing that? And, wh and what about Coogan? Why didn't he put, put the video out? How come Rob Tebbit ended up with it? And how come we don't see Coogan? Did he signal him then? I might have to reverse up and ask him if he signalled. Do you know why I am? I don't know what to make of it all, but what I do know is... There's a lot of bullshit around Rob Tebbit at the moment. Fancy putting that out about Tunde, a voice text that he's sent me. People have given me some stick about it, but this is how I look at it. You see that car there? I used to have one of them, Alpha Romeo. Same colour. Same everything. Sounded really meaty. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of bullshit around Rob Tebbit, is there? And he's caught between a rock and an hard place because he wants to be hardcore like me, but he doesn't want to ask the right questions, does he? He wants to be everybody's pal like Coogan. He sort of wants to ask out the right questions and then his arsehole falls out, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? That's how I look at it. Oh shit, I forgot a quid. Oh, I want, uh... Let me show you how to park now. Right, you know when you park, if you think you've got an half decent car, 
Always take two spots up. Look at that. Why do you want some old deer coming out, getting in a Austin Maestro Vanden Plaar and taking all your door out? You don't want that, do you? That's how I look at it. But uh, it is what it is, isn't it? But uh, getting back to Rob Tebbert, yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of bullshit around Rob Tebbert in there at the moment. Doing that, I think. I think that's quite shady. Putting Tundi's voicemail. Take it out. He should have said, Tundi, listen. Don't ever threaten me again, I've got you on tape here. And he wouldn't have done it, would he? That's what you should have done if you had to do it at all. If you feel you backed into a corner, that's what you should have done, but... But as regards... As regards going the way he did... No, Rob Tebbert, I don't agree with you. Snitchers get stitches where I live. So... Uh, sort bank details out, what the fuck's that? Oh. Uh, so we've covered that. Uh, I'm sure there was something else. Oh, yeah. Crawford Ashley against Chisora. We've got two fighters there, British Commonwealth European champion. Crawford fought for two world titles, wasn't it? He might say three, but we don't count that other belt. So Crawford fought for two, Chisora's fought for one. Why is Chisora getting pay-per-views? He's had ten losses. They're talking about him for pay-per-views again against Dillian the Can't Man White. Anybody who wants it can't get it. Do you know what I mean? So it's exciting times ahead as been would say, but the they're pissing up our leg at the moment with what's happening and th there's things going on behind the scenes at Sky and you know if I'm going to find out, I'm going to find out. I will get to know what is going on and I will share it with you all. If, it, if, 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 if I can, you know there's some stuff I can't, some stuff I can't share with you but this is how I look at it. People need to stop hammering Frank Warren. Because at the end of the day, he put Dubois in, didn't he, with Joyce? He's Eddie Hearn putting people in. Who's he putting? Eggington and Cheeseman. Eggington and Cheeseman smashed to bits. They're in the mid-twenties, smashed to pieces. Been punched upside down. He don't care for them. He's not caring for them. They've had losses and draws and all sorts. Frank Warren's put two undefeated guys in. Then he's put Yard and Lyndon after him with one defeat between them. Got to give him credit. You've got to give him credit. Promoter at year. From UK, Eddie's not promoter at year, lying in his pockets, spinning utter rubbish. Did you listen to Barry Jones? We know what his opinion is on Eddie, and don't we? You heard it on Asylum last night, didn't you? He just said it straight. He don't believe anything he's told, and I don't. This is, but we have to narrate the story and tell it what we hear. But this is how I look at it. Once you tell a lie, you gotta tell another, aren't you? you gotta keep it going, or you gotta shut it down. Or come clean, you can only go three ways. Most people, they keep it going till it becomes unbearable, then they shut it down. Other people just keep telling another. And Eddie Hearn's mastered it, hasn't he? Because he's got Sky and Dazon, both sides at, at Pond. He's got, we know who the YouTubers are, who hang out the back of him. He's got all them bot accounts, all them gimps from Gimpville Island, Matchroom FC on Twitter and all that, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. He's all that. And then he's got, you know, Bean and people like that. And... You know, the, 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 your Gareth A. Davises, people like that. Uh, human rimmers. There's rimmers and there's human rimmers. So, all right. <laughs> it is what it is. What do I need down in my list? Let me get my list here. Let's have a look. Milk, coffee, Rizzlers. Peace out. I'll do the, I'll do the last question on way home, okay? Queuing in there, man. I hate queuing. Can't stand queuing, man. Did all day, man. Everybody there with glum faces, aren't they? Yeah, everybody's there with glum faces, but last topic, or second to last topic, I think. Uh, Border Control have put a press statement out, aren't they, saying that there's going to be boxing uh, in, is it middle of February or something? Why have they done that? Is it because Eddie's on about going to China and Saudi and spitting his dummy out because he wants full control? Look, it's a game of chess, isn't it? That's what it is. It's a game of chess. It's like Eddie coming out, in it, and saying that they'll vacate all belts. They're trying to lay it low down. So this is what I'd do. I'd call the bluff. I'd call the bluff, me. 
I won't mess about out like that. I just called the bluff and said, listen, mate, get gone. Get gone. No messing about whatsoever. Get gone. But what you've got to understand with border control is this. Look at these lights. I've spent all my fucking life at traffic lights. Uh, i trying to think which is the best way to go now. Uh, I just think that border control are on back footy with this pandemic. They want to get in and don't they? They want the little perks. Uh, I've heard they've been squabbling to get to the show with old Charlie Giles and all them. Do you know what I mean? But, uh, time here man. Uh, I just think that they should just let it take its toll. You know what I mean? Let it take its toll, then you'll be alright. Right, sorry about that, but I'm just about to have a take a cop van there and what they do, they get on radio, don't they? So, Bulk is having two million doing 70 and we're doing 60, but he's probably going to do more. So we have to uh, pull up, don't we? But uh, what I want to say is there with border control, they've got no money coming in, have they? The boxing border control have got no money whatsoever coming in. So they're going to be... Uh, What's the word? They're going to be peppermint, aren't they? Pepperminted. So they're now saying middle of February, but how can the British Boxing Board of Control predict what's going to happen with COVID? They're just trying to pay people lip service. If you remember, they were saying, yeah, we'll be having shows on in May. Every old crowds will be there. Then it was June, then July, September, Christmas, then February. Now February, they're saying. So. Nobody believes a word they say because, like I said earlier in the video, once you tell a lie, you got to tell another, aren't you? you got to tell another. So, do you know what I mean? It is what it is, isn't it? But these people, they don't care for anybody except themselves. So, so I don't know, have some fucking coffee. Oh, they went out some coffee, nearly got, nearly got arrested. Well, I would have been. But, no, board don't care. Nobody cares for anybody in boxing. Look what they did to amateurs. Look what they did to all amateur gyms. They don't care. Government don't care. One iota. They don't care for people in boxing industry. I care. I care for all boxers. They're getting punched in the head, aren't they? Nobody's standing up for them, are they? I stood up for Dave Allen. I told Eddie Hearn what I thought, didn't I? Whether he liked it or not. To be fair, he has looked after Dave, but getting a kid smashed up by Lewis Orchards, or you won't even put him with Joshua, that shows you what Eddie Hearn thinks about Dave Allen. And like I said to people, if you want to know about this is my new best friend, go have a look at Lee Purdy. Go speak to Lee Purdy if you want to know about best friends in boxing, or go speak to O'Hara Davis. You know what I mean? I think. Ultratex Sport called it, didn't he? On his channel, and he said basically, this guy is not your friend. He's not. The businessmen, and they're good at what they do, but boxing has a personal touch, and this is why we have to keep fighting the good fight. You know what I mean? So, who's this here? That's an M5, that's a big dog, I'll leave him alone. Could end up going to death, life and death. <laughs> Could end up having a life and death. I've had a life and death with an M5 before, I'll wait a new key. White knuckle ride. But, but no, you know what, you old people I feel sorry for in boxing at the moment. I feel sorry for people like Josh Whale, Stu Curry, he's got about an ABC, Manchester. John Fuchs, who's running Dennis's gym, Glyn Rhodes' gym, Glyn Rhodes must be climbing, oh, Clinton Woods, his gym shut down, isn't it? You know, these people are not, they're not getting a shilling, are they? I'm not saying Clinton and Glyn Rhodes are shorter a few, Bob, but, you know, there's, there's the knock-on effect that it has in the community, isn't it, from 
kids not being able to express themselves. I mean, you get you got you've got teenagers now going out at night breaking into sheds and things like that. What's all that about? But if they were knackered and they've been training three sessions a day, they wouldn't be going out burgling at night, would they? They say I'm too tired. There won't be any peer pressure. They just want to answer the door. They'd be asleep. And this is where boxing saves lives. Get him up my arse here. Foot break. You're doing up my ass. It's a 40, mate. Stick to the speed limit. 40 mile an hour on A1. I bet it's a dickhead when he goes by me. You know, whenever anybody annoys you on motorway or in any traffic, whenever you look at them, you look at them and you think, yeah, he is a dickhead. Whether it's a woman or a man, it's, it's just human nature, isn't it? We're creatures of habit, aren't we? But, but now, I also feel for sorry for Dominic Ingle as well because they can't get people of their training, can they? Only the pros. I even feel a little bit sorry for Steffi Ball, although he's trying to manipulate the situation and make out that everybody's against him. Everybody's jealous of Steffi Ball. <laughs> Hundreds of people are phoning, please. Steffi's got people training it, Jim. Steffi, good bit of PR that. You got on talk sport and you got her in the sun, but we all know you rung the police. <laughs> Off you all your different phones. <laughs> Nobody around that area would bring place for that. Jesus. Here, grip yourself. Can't you think of something a bit better than that, Steffi? Fake name, fake teeth. Says me he was about to get his teeth done. I just hope I don't end up like my mate Jerry. He looks like a crocodile. I'm sure he's got 30 teeth in his mouth like Wilder. I don't want that many. I just want them ripping out so they don't look like lumps of plywood. Like he's gonna piss it down. So the plan is to finish this video. Drop this coffee off. But I do think that efforts might be trying to be made to make Joshua against Fury. But this is how I look at it. You know, when you've been lied to that much, and, and let's have it right, they've been lying to us constantly, haven't they? Constantly lying to us. Nobody believes Eddie Hearn anymore, or oh, Bean, or oh, Company Man Nelson, or oh, Tony Disappearing Man. <coughs> I always have to flag him off if they get clever. Do you know what? I, I hate most, you know when you have a bit of road rage and you go you know when you have a bit of road rage? Hang on a minute. That shows that shows how I should have strapped it in, shouldn't I? You know when you have a bit of road rage and you go to overtake them. Hey mate, your exhaust hanging off you. Hey sweetheart! Your exhaust hanging off! <laughs> Fucking hell, look at that! Imagine if she were your missus, you'd strangle her, wouldn't you? <laughs> Going that motorway with exhaust hanging off. Tried to tell her, tried to do a good Samaritan trip. A good Samaritan bit. If that were your missus, you'd strangle her, wouldn't you? Ah, oh, kill you. Look what you've done to me car. Oh, your car that I bought you, I'm taking it off you now, I'm giving it to my mistress. She was like that, driving forward, didn't have a caring world. But now, uh, you know what I hate more than anything? You know when you have a text somebody when you're driving? And they know they're in the wrong, and you like that up their arse, and then you get you have a tech and you can look over like that. Do you know what I hate more than anything? You know what I hate more than anything is when they go like that. They go like that, and then they don't even look at you, they look away. Oh, that makes me mad, I want to follow them home! Let me know in the comment section what you think about that. You know when you've ever took somebody and they just go like that and look? I do that now. <laughs> you know if I'm wrong. Because you win argument like that, don't you? Do you know what I mean? But, but yeah. Steffi! What, do you want to kiss and make up? Come see me, Steffi. Come see me. Do you know what I mean, Steffi Bull or me? It'll probably be at cheapest petrol station in the area. The total garage at Cunningsborough. I'll be in there one day and he'll be filling in there, up there one day. I'm just going to take him down and wrap him up. He knows that. That's why he's swerving me. And I'm ready for him. I was ready before. When we were in that cafe, asked McWhale, I was ready. 
But you didn't want to know. I just have to wait. I just have to wait. But look at this here, man. I always get stuck behind a snail. So I think that's about it, really. Just a little taster for you. I'm gonna uh, send this to camera and let him let him stick an intro on it at the beginning and an ending because my head's massive. I've got a big ego. I stick my sponsors on. Uh, oh, a cop car there. BMW one. What's he doing there? A bit pulling out on me. Oh, I love that place, aren't they? Today, filth all over the place 116.8 diesel dear that dear but uh but yeah just a little teaser for you we'll get an intro on it and an ending get the sponsors whacked on front and rear play the game can i just say that then people who have been emailing the joe gallagher thing it's already won People are emailing 12 hours later. It's already won. You've got to be quick. But the winners, like I said, you've got to log on to the website, send me a screenshot, then I'll just send you trainers. They just want you to look at the stuff, don't they? You don't have to buy it. Oh, they like to know you've logged on. And that's about it, really. But the question were, people keep saying something about Joe Nevin or something Nevin or something. I don't, Joe Gallagher's first world champion to win it in the ring was Liam Smith. I think Scott Quigg won it, didn't he? But he won it outside of the ring, didn't he? Do you know what I mean? I think Liam would be for... Well, I know anyway. I know anyway because I've checked. But, uh, so, it was Liam Smith the answer. And I'm thinking of a good question for for the, the third pair. Uh, I'm going to think of a good question. One that makes it so you just can't check straight away so it gives everybody a chance. So it gives everybody a chance to, to go have a look online and, and see what it is. Get in your lane, woman. So, if you know what I mean. So, alright, so keep watching channel. I want to thank everybody for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. The main thing is you leave comments. Try and leave good ones though. <laughs> Save me getting into trouble with bad ones. Try and leave me a good one. And uh, thank you for sharing it amongst all your WhatsApp pals because we check on analytics and a lot of you are sharing it at the moment. Some of you aren't even subscribing though. 38% of people that watch my channel don't even subscribe. So come on, you've got to give me a bit of respect for doing this because nobody's doing it like I'm doing it at the moment, are they? Because they're all hanging out of the back of people. That's what's going on. Rimmers. There's rimmers and there is human rimmers that's what there is in the boxing industry all right rimmers and human rimmers look at all that coffee all over the floor now all right boys and girls so peace out